Kenworth is an American brand of large trucks. It was founded in 1923 in Seattle, Washington, by the Gerlinger brothers. Kenworth has gained worldwide recognition for its quality and durability. It is a division of Packard, one of the leading manufacturers of heavy-duty trucks globally, alongside Peterbilt and DAF. Today on GearTech, we have prepared a selection of these trucks, hoping you find it entertaining and informative. Dedicated to the heavy transportation sector, the Australian company Ares stands out for its highly skilled and powerful fleet, relying primarily on Kenworth units, as well as specialized loading equipment for all types of oversized transport jobs. Specializing in wind turbine movement, they undertake trips with loads that can easily exceed 70 meters in length and 6 meters in diameter, requiring configurable trailers to accommodate these sizes. They utilize the Kenworth T909 trucks, specifically designed for the Australian market, which offer unparalleled performance, even in extreme conditions. They are known for their fuel efficiency, even with heavy loads. These trucks are available in 6x4 or 8x6 configurations and are equipped with Cummins X15 engines that provide a power output of 625 horsepower and 2,800 newton meters of torque more than sufficient for the heaviest tasks. In addition to the powerful and bold presence of the Kenworth T909 trucks, with their prominent front grille, large headlights, and robust design, Ares achieves a greater visual impact by maintaining a fleet of trucks painted in a highly striking yellow color. This makes their trucks easily recognizable and reinforces their brand image. NRC Industries is a Canadian company specializing in the design and manufacturing of towing and recovery equipment with a global presence. They have developed the CSR85 recovery crane, which seeks the perfect balance between power and size to tackle the toughest challenges without difficulty in accessing them. This crane features a three-stage V-shaped telescopic boom with an 85-ton load capacity according to SAE classification. It can rotate 360 degrees and stay stable thanks to its low-profile outriggers. In terms of maneuverability and reach, it has a lifting range of 0 to 70 degrees, a reach of 11.8 meters, and a maximum working height of 16.8 meters. Additionally, it is equipped with dual planetary winches with a 27-ton capacity and a 5-meter reach. This impressive crane is mounted on a robust Kenworth W990 truck. In addition to providing excellent comfort and reliability for the operator, this truck is equipped with a Packard MX-13 engine that generates 510 horsepower and 2,500 newton meters of torque. This allows it to take the unit to the most rugged and challenging work areas. MGM is an Australian company with a long history in the cargo transportation business. From its beginnings as a family-owned business in the 1950s, it has become one of the most prominent companies in this sector in Australia. It boasts an impressive fleet of 160 Kenworth trucks and over 550 trailer configurations. Their renowned division dedicated to bulk cargo transport, MGM Bulk, takes advantage of road train operations in Australia. For these operations, they rely on powerful Kenworth K200 trucks. 
These trucks are used with trailer configurations that can reach up to 32 meters in length. This is made possible by the powerful Cummins X-15 engines they are equipped with, capable of generating 600 horsepower and up to 2,800 newton meters of torque. Despite its evolutionary changes over the years, the Kenworth K200 remains a fundamental truck for heavy-duty transportation operations in Australia. It is available in different chassis configurations, from 6x4 to 10x6, and offers exceptional productivity on both highways and challenging terrains. For this reason, it is common to see these trucks on the country's mining roads. Part of Kenworth's developments throughout its history has focused on building powerful units specifically for heavy-duty off-road jobs. With this task in mind, the company developed a truck using a unique combination of components. It is the K500 model, which consists of a Kenworth C500 truck chassis, but with a DAF XF105 cabin. This truck is designed for transportation jobs in mines, oil and gas fields, primarily in Asian and African countries, as it adapts perfectly to both deserts and tundras. Although only 283 units of this machine were produced until 2006, a later unit called the C500K emerged, which incorporated the cabin from the legendary K100 truck. Available in various chassis configurations from 6x4 to 10x10, both units share the same specifications, as they are equipped with Cummins engines generating 525 horsepower and 2,240 newton meters of torque, along with a 7-speed Allison 4700 RDS transmission. While these units may seem quite appealing, the market still offers models like the 963 and C500, so there are no plans to develop another unit similar to these Kabover trucks, making them extremely rare to find. Dramas International is a division of the Canadian company Simard Suspensions, dedicated to modifying heavy-duty trucks to significantly increase their performance and efficiency in the work area. This company developed a unit called D150T, designed for heavy mining operations, based on a Kenworth C500 truck with a Cummins X-15 engine generating 605 horsepower and 2,800 newton meters of torque which underwent severe structural modifications, some of which are quite noticeable. The unit operates with two 40 cubic meter dump buckets, achieving a total payload of 150 metric tons and capable of traveling on slopes of 8% at speeds of up to 50 kilometers per hour. It is worth noting that these units are already operating in Canada, covering distances of 150 kilometers in environments with extreme temperatures as low as minus 45 degrees Celsius. Thank you so much for sticking around until the end of the video. We hope you enjoyed it and found it valuable. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. We can't wait to see you in the next one.